Hello, my name is Kerry Arth, and today we're going to take a look across several videos, probably, the uh, reveals from the Warhammer 40,000 Open Day, which is today, funnily enough. Uh, just before we get into it, I just want to apologise very quickly for the total lack of videos this week. As you can probably hear from my voice, I've been really, really sick again. My kids have been sick, I've been sick. It's been like some sort of horrendous plague house. So, uh, yeah, I've just been not able to do anything, really. But it's okay, because I'm... Uh, I'll cut out all the coughing, it'll be fine. Let's just go straight in, have a look at this, because I don't know what, what there is so far. I've not really taken a look at this. Um, this is the first of, I'd imagine, lots of reveals. Uh, but uh, I thought it'd be nice if we went in blind together. So let's take a look, take a gander. So an entire day dedicated to Warhammer 40,000, obviously. Warhammer World, obviously. I really want to actually make it at some point, but I was way too ill this time. So first up... If you pre-order picked up a copy of the Sisters of Battle box army set, box army set, that's not what it says, you'll no doubt I've been excitedly flicking through the codex inside. Well, I would, but mine hasn't arrived yet, which makes me sad. However, there is something that makes me happy, which is which is the, uh, the triumph of St. Catherine. So... Now, I have to say, I am absolutely loving this this trend that seems to be happening, whereby we are getting, like, big diorama units. Like, proper, full-on centerpieces for armies. Like, it, we had the one for the uh, the uh, Ossiarch Bone Reapers, the, what is his name? Karakatos? Kra Kar Krakatos? Krakatoa? Kraktoaster? I, I can't remember his name. Something like that. And I thought that looked... That looked great, and I like the fact that they're making these, like, proper display piece units. They are, admittedly, I feel somewhat intimidating for uh, for a lot of people, a lot of painters, myself included, obviously. Um, but they just have such such a presence, and this is one of those things where it it just looks it looks incredible. I don't know. I think the only thing that I the only thing I can really criticize is that the actual the actual like uh like coffin or 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 pall for for St Catherine is a little bit a little bit cluttered around because you've got this procession with her it's maybe a bit hard to see the kind of the thing they are processing with but the actual models around it I know we haven't got like a, a full close up of this yet, but there's so much detail and kind of they're, they're all similar, but they look different. Each of them has got like a unique signifier. They've got something that is that is unique to them, and yeah, I just really like the presence of this thing. It looks fantastic. I just, cherubs still creep me out. And I think maybe they add a little too much height to it for me personally. But that's something that I think you could just not put on if you didn't want. If you wanted to keep them separate or, or place them further towards the back or looking at the way they interlink, I feel like you wouldn't you don't necessarily need to put them where they are. I think you could probably mess with them a little bit. But overall, you know, until we get some proper proper up close, really up close detail pictures. The only the only thing is that it feels maybe t a tiny bit cluttered. But then again, that could just be because the only other one that I think the only other one that we've really seen similar to this, in terms of kind of big scenic base like composition wise, is that Ossiarch Bone Reaper one, and that had the advantage of the main character of that being so tall, like he he is, you know, he's pretty. 
pretty much bigger than everything else on the base, which makes him stand out. Then again, this isn't the same situation. As far as I know, she's obviously dead. So, you know, her being like however many feet tall, anything like that, it wouldn't make sense. She's just a sister of battle. An admittedly very impressive one, but still. Um, yeah, I, I, I do like it, though. I do like it. It's just... It's very grand, it's very over the top, but it is somehow quite somber, even though, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, there's just, there's just something about it that is really grabbing me, and I'm liking, I'm liking this trend of making these kind of big, big centerpieces for armies that aren't just like, here's a big dude. I mean, yeah, the, the, the RCR guy is a big dude, but he's also got like a full court of other people around him. And it's the same with this. If you just had the like the pole with the body on it, that that would look okay, I guess, with like one person around it. It would look alright, it would look cool. But this gives it a, a like an attitude and a personality that it would not have otherwise. Yeah, I really like that. I can't wait to see some closer pictures of that. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, okay, so we've got more Repentia. So next year there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be the multipose Repentia kit. I'm I'm happy about this. I know that I'm in the vast like minority. Um, that is a solid bionic leg going on there. Jesus, you could kick someone to death with that. Look at it. Wow. Um, <laughs> God, Christ. Probably weighs more than her. Does she need one? The one on the left. Oh no, she's just it's the way that she's running. Just for a second there, I was like, that seems a bit harsh. Give the one, give the one a bionic leg, but let the other one hop. That seems a bit mean, but no. No, I'm 90% sure that's not how that's gone. So yeah, more poses. Yeah, I, I still like them. I know I know a lot of you guys don't. Um, and to be honest, I totally understand why you don't. It's not like I'm looking at it going, oh, they look exactly the same as the old ones. What's wrong with you? No, I get that it's a complete, a complete reimagining, a complete redesign. And... Yeah, I, I think this is going to be one of those units forever that is like, you either you either like it or you just don't like it. I don't think I've seen anyone go, eh. I don't think I've had that. I've seen that reaction from anyone. It's always been either, oh yeah, I really like these, or these can just get just get in the bin. Get in the bin right now. I don't want to see them ever again. I'm going to buy up as much of the old metal ones as I possibly can. But yeah, I, which whichever way whichever way you swing it, having a, an actual multi-pose, multi-part kit, Preferable every time, let's be honest. Uh, okay, so what else do we have? The Cult Mechanicus takes to the... Oh, Lord. All right, hang on. Okay. <laughs> we'll watch the video, and then we'll go down. Because I immediately, just the silhouette alone, I'm starting to get the urge to read Dune again. So let's... Uh... Sort your shit out, Bartholomus. What? Oh my god, alright, look. <laughs> Christ. Alright, so, yeah, that... Mm, I love that. Uh, again, I, it's the same situation as the as the bloody Scorpius thing. It's ludicrous. It's absolutely daft. What is this? Like, what is going on? What is this half... Half helicopter? Half, I, I just... It's so dune, it hurts. That is literally... Reading Dune as a kid, when the ornithopters were were described, I basically just thought, so 
so this. What we're seeing on the screen, essentially, something very similar to this. The Admech stuff is so weird. And I feel like I feel like someone in charge of designing their stuff has gone, it was weird before, but can we make it more weird? And everyone went, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's weird it up. Let's weird it up. Let's have, like, 1940s hovercraft for their transports and tanks. Let's give them an ornithopter. Because why not? Why would you not do that? I just... What the hell? Again, I really like it. I don't know whether anyone else will, but it's just it's just mental. I, I don't know whether I'm even approaching these things from the perspective of, does it fit? Is it a good model? Instead, I'm just going, what the hell is that? All right, I'm in. You know, someone's had someone's had the audacity. I'm in. I, I, the confidence has swept me. I'm I'm on board. I mean, it does have some nice details, admittedly. The fact that it's got like the big kind of extendable, like chicken leg landing gear, is kind of awesome. Uh, can it grab onto stuff as well? It looks super weird. I do like the placement of the big like kind of engine cowling thing on the top. The guns going out the side is a nice touch. I mean, to be honest, it looks like it makes sense. It does look mad, but it looks more... To me, that looks more capable of flight than the vast majority of Space Marine vehicles, which all just look like boxes with wings that are far too small for them. That, that I mean... I don't know whether the principle is sound. Probably not, but... I, I, I really like that. That's kind of... That's funky. It's mental, but it's it's just kind of cool. God, I can't wait to see what they get next. I mean, between this and the Scorpius, and then you've got the what is it? The uh, the Iron Striders. It's a mad faction, really. I feel like that's where all the crazy stuff goes for forty k. So we can't go totally mental with other other factions because it's not it doesn't fit with them. But these guys, oh yeah, let's let's uh, let's push the boat out, go full mad. But it works. I mean, it looks good. I don't think I like the clear canopy, though. I think that's something that... Yeah, I, I've never been a big fan of like the, the clear plastic stuff. But that's a tiny complaint. I like everything else. Okay, so... Okay, oh, we've got a bit, a bit more detail. So yeah, we can see the... Uh, so there's gun options on the... Fr is that the front or is that the back? That is the front, okay. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, no. Yes. <laughs> My brain is mush. I'm still only halfway through my coffee. So yeah, we've got the uh, we've got options on the front. That's interesting. Can the doors be replaced so they don't have guns on them? That looks like that might be a thing. They can drop bombs, or they can have more guns attached. Missile launcher. So it looks like it comes loaded with a few options there. I really would have liked a uh, picture like this for the. Uh, Drones with St. Catherine, but I'll settle for the mad ornithopter. Okay, so Aeronautica Imperialis, Imperialis, what a way to pronounce that. There is a, a, a new a new heavy bomber, a, the Grot Bomber. Okay, I still haven't played this game. I don't have time to play everything they do, sadly. That looks quality, and the little Grot bombs with little Grots in them. Tell me there's a little close up of it. Yes! Look at that. I approve. 100%. 100% approval for that. Little <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Yeah, that's, I say, that is a beefy, beefy plane. That is super beefy. Oh, it looks great, though. Oh, God. I, I, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. That is pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay, also, uh, the Angel of Death. Well, we've already seen him. We know what he's all about. And there's the book to go along with it. And that is all we have so far. So, let's go back up to uh, this one. Let's have let's have you back. You know what? You know, I, I looking at it again, yes, it does miss that. It doesn't have that kind of central, that central feel that the Arceark one has. Which, I'm only comparing it to that one, because as far as I know, those are the only two that are like this, currently. I'm sure we're going to see loads more. Um, but actually, 
No, maybe I'm looking at the cherubs wrong. They're the ones providing like the ver- like the, the kind of verticality of it, aren't they? And they're the ones suspending the uh, the uh, the pull. So, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe too, maybe too swift a judgment. Those robes are very. Uh, I was going to say Spanish Inquisition. I don't actually know what the Spanish Inquisition wore. My only frame of reference for that really is Monty Python. And uh, that might not have been historically accurate, let's be honest. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were supposed to give you notice that they were showing up. I'm sure I've heard that somewhere. But that's a weird tangent. I do like that. Going to be an absolute bitch to paint. It's like it's an entire squad with scenery, with cherubs, with a bunch of artifacts for, for each of the thingies, each of the orders. It's going to be a nightmare. But it'll look great when it's finished, and that's the important bit, really, isn't it? That is nice. Right, okay, that's the uh, first lot of reveals from the Warhammer Open Day. I'm sure we will see many more, and I will also record videos for those too. Hopefully I won't have to cut out as much coughing in the next few, but we'll see. You won't have heard any of that because we'll cut it out, unless I forget or miss one, in which case I apologise. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of all of that stuff in the comments down below. Feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click it if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link for Element Games in the description that you can click if you'd like and buy stuff if you want to. And I get something for sending you that way. And it's a thing you can do to support the channel. Also, 10% of uh, anything raised through that goes to charity at the end of the month. So, yeah. You can do it if you like. I leave it entirely up to you. And uh, I will see you probably in a couple of hours for the next one. Toodaloo.